today's DIY project, we're going to do something a little different where you actually can build rod holders by using PVC pipe. I'm going to show you a way that you can actually do this very cheap, very easy. Don't have to use any glue and it's a much better way and solid way of constructing it. Okay, so the way we're doing it is you just need a few little parts. You need a two inch, the reason we're doing two inch is a very specific reason. Two inch, why? You need a two inch coupler that threads right here. And you need a two inch pressure cap. This is what sets everything up. I got these that are stainless steel. I think I spent a total of about nine bucks to make this whole thing, something like that. When you do your quarter inch 20 T bolt, you just drill a quarter inch through here. This will be your bottom. This will be your top. When it goes through, you're able to wing nut this down and then screw this part down onto it so it will hit completely flush and be solid onto the kayak or rail track, whatever you want. Then you got a rod holder. Of course, I'm an over engineer just like I do everything else. Okay, so here we are. We're going to get this project going. It'll need a few different things. You need a quarter inch bit, a smaller bit so that you can pre-tap some holes so you don't jump off with that quarter inch bit because you're using this quarter 20 here. We're going to drill this out right through the center. I'm going to use a smaller hole first and I'm going to drill that out just dead center. All right, got that hole. Now we're going to do the quarter, quarter inch. Go ahead and drill this one. Nice. Now uh, I want to. I drilled a hole here in this part here so that I can actually put a little bolt in it. It keeps it going down the track. We can put this on where it just comes out just a little bit. Don't need to come out that much. Just a little bit. All right. That's all it needs. Instead of gluing this part here, I'm actually got a pin right here now this did cost about three or four bucks extra is i'm actually going to drill a hole put this pin through where i can actually lock it down tight or turn it or just pop this off as i need to instead of unscrewing everything It'd be easy i can do it set it really tight at a 45 this way that way and i there and with this design there is no gluing whatsoever with a rod holder but then i'm going to take it even further is i'm going to actually Put a piece of PVC pipe in it, cut it out right here so I can actually drop a rod in, either spinning rod through a cutout here or a cutout part here where I can drop in a bait cast rod. So I'm going to cut it about that much longer, even make it better. Because I like making stuff better. I do what you call over-engineered DIY. That's what I like to do. These actually have some rigid lines, if you can see them right here. They're rigid lines around here, and they're all set up exactly and just drill right onto the ridge line if you can get it without skipping off dead center so how i'm going to do dead center is i'm just going to get it right there dead center with my pencil i'm just going to walk around with my finger keeping it in the same spot and now each one of those lines there will actually work where i can just crisscross right here and drill it in There's one. Now we're going to take, make sure that is correct. This is quarter inch. That should work pretty good. I'll just clean this up. Okay, so now what I've done is just to show you that I've cleaned up a little bit using sandpaper. I went and sanded around this edge because you know how tight these fittings are. I want it to fit where it can still go on there because I'm not using the glue. Some of you can use the glue. I just sanded around this part where it can actually just fit in there nice and tight, but yet able to take it out like that. Nice tight fit. There we go, just like that. And the other side should hit like this. And boom, we can tighten her down and she's not going anywhere out of that. Then I can just pull the pin out when I need to. Okay, so here's what I had to do. I had to go sand it. I even had to take the bolt down just a little bit. But the idea is this, that you put it in. 
and you're able to turn it and fit it in any direction using this pin. So I'm gonna go over here and show you how this works. Cause some of that's just, sometimes it gets a little hectic. You gotta get the holes just right. So I wanted to fit tight. So what you do is screw that part on cause you're using the wing nut. That little bolt down in the bottom is to keep it against here. So you can take, take it off. And you can line it up where I'm lining it up solid this way where the pin could I can move it out and you don't even have to use any glue because of this part right here using a two inch this here keeps it from turning so you can unscrew this pretty easy pretty pretty simple design because all you need is a two inch Y a coupling and the main thing is this uh, plug right here tighten it all down Screw it on, put that on, and there you go. It's just super solid on there the way that's designed. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, now I'm going to put a part where I'm going to actually put where I can drop the rod holder in. That's going to be simple enough. What I'm going to do is just use a coping saw. Very simple device to use. I'm going to put it right here in the vise. So I'm going to just start here. I drew it where it's going to be a line that comes up around. Have a notch here on each side for, you know, doing, doing a spinning rig. Okay, now I've just turned this over. I've got this notch here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. The reason I'm using the coping saw is because how fast of a radius they can turn. And they're very usually very, very sharp. Now that looks good there. Probably just gonna go ahead and cut off right here link that I need total for the rod holder all right now this is getting closer to what it should look like this is all messed up but the deal is I'm going to cut this part out anyway pretty good so far we clean it up this part here cuts so that a spinning rod can lock down here and it can't move well we need to do something else for the bait cast rods that means we need to drill a hole out right here so that that trigger guard can fit down in here keeps the rod from sliding out again just about there so I'm going to drill a hole right there I've got a 5 8 paddle bit that I'm going to use unfortunately it's that long because it's the only one I can find in 5 8 and what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to take it and I'm going to drill right through where I want it to be. Hopefully it's dead center of the deal. There we go. Okay, so now I'm over here on the sanding belt. And I'm just going to use it to round and kind of sand some things, get it nice and neat. So now you guys see that it's close to the shape that I want. We have the part here. And once all this puts together, this is going to go on top of here. And we've got a pretty cool looking rod holder. Now all of this has been already glued. You can see where I got that in there. Pretty solid. Goes on here. Pretty cool design, right? So now you're able to put your spinning rod goes right inside that groove there. 
so that if a fish hits it, it can't come out, but you're able to grab it real fast out of the rod. And if you have a bait cast rod with the trigger, the trigger part on it, it'll just go right in there just like the same thing there. And then it can't, fish can't pull it out, but you can pick it up and pull it right out and catch a fish. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this to paint and you'll see the final result there. Please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'm going to have more DIYs coming out soon.